Beautiful. Trans Am here. Got the 455 HL motor. Hey, how you doing? Manual too. Is there a too. Yeah. Wow, it got small. Yeah, it's actually only this big. This is a battery here. This your car? Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. Do you mind if I interview you? Is that okay? Thanks. Okay. What's your first name? Don. Don. And where are you from originally, Don? Westbury, Long Island, originally. Uh, all right. You know, it's funny. I, how many people I've been meeting from Long Island? Yeah, forget there? about it. No, it's, it's, no, it's cool. I, but the past six interviews, most of them were from Long Island. Of course, it's Florida. We always yeah. get down here eventually. I know, it's true. But I, that's why I ask because I figure a lot of people say, oh, I want to meet this guy. I might know him or yeah, something, yeah, you know? Yeah, so how long have you had this? A week. You got it a week ago. Now, have you always looked for one of these, or? Bucket list car since I was a little kid. It's my third one. Well, because this I understand. My friend was explaining. Tell me about it, because I know it's a spe it's special. I know that. Well, the model is a special model. It's the earlier of the Trans Am. So this is a, they started in this body style in 70. Okay. Before the 69 had the chrome bumper in the front. Yeah. Um, so in 72, which this is a 72, they had the UAW strike. Okay. In 72 Union Auto Workers, and um, uh, there was less made, especially the blue ones. Uh, out of the Trans Am, I think the total count was 1286. Oh, wow. And then out of the 1286, there was 458 blue four-speed cars. And then this was ordered... Well, there's a couple of different stories. <laughs> okay. So one story is this was a top brass car, which was like a manager's car. Okay. Okay. Um, we. The other story is that the owner took the air out, never put it back in. But going back to the top brass story, the after 900 miles, it was sold to Coggin in Jacksonville, Florida, the dealership, the first dealership. Right. And then from there, it went to I know Hermosa Beach. Then it was in Sarasota and possibly Michigan and also British Vancouver of where I found the car, but it was never titled in Canada. Wow. I just titled it, retitled it from, well, from Sarasota because it never got titled in Canada. Well, so this car's been around places. It's been around a little bit, yeah, but it's it's been done pretty nice and it's a great driver. It's the bucket list car. It's actually got a five-speed in it instead of a four. Um, a couple of things have been changed in it a little bit, like a Ram F4 cam, Okay. neat. Uh, so it makes but, it a little bit more modern, yeah, like Yeah, and then the value of them has been just skyrocketing. Oh, yeah. My third one. I had a 71 and a 77. So. And but the I, earlier ones are, are sharp, though, I think. Yeah. Myself. They're the my lights favorite. and the, you know, the way the front is compared to the newer the ones. nose and everything. I think my brother had a 79 or an 80, I think. When they had the horsepowers yeah. were real low at that yeah. point. And, like my 77, the horsepower was like 200, but uh, it was the first year of the square headlights, and it was first year they had brown, you know. Whatever, Booster Brown, I think it was. Right. Now, how many horses does this have? Uh, I think this is only like 330 oh, or, or something still, like that's that. Still, that's a nice. 300 that's... because it's a lower compression in 72, like 8 to 1. But oh, so that's right. You said 72. So that's 72. quite a bit for 72, I yeah, would say. but it pulls. I tell you what, it's, you know, I don't need a fast one. I built a hot rod, the one that the IndyCar suspension that has the air jacks that goes up in the air, that black hot rod. Oh, yeah. I spent 22 years building that one. Oh, wow. I don't want to build another car. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to enjoy driving yeah, and I don't hanging out. I don't mind a couple out. of fixing couple. They always, they always need something, you know. But whatever. They, no, you're right. But it is gorgeous, though. I just got to put air in it and enjoy it. Oh, so you're going to put air in it? I'm going to put vintage, vintage air. Vintage air, in it. of yeah. course. But I'm going to buy factory air, I think, also, and keep it in storage. The air, in case I have Because it was it. supposed to have it on the original. It shows it. $397. That's interesting. Wow. And never put in or maybe taken out. <laughs> Yeah, interesting. I don't, so who knows? But who cares? I just yeah, no, no, and it's, it, it gives you it. a chance to tell both stories because you're not sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But since I was a little kid, you know, I used to ride my bicycle to the candy store, and there was a Ford dealership like a block away from the candy store. And mom said, "Don't go over the bridge out of the neighborhood." Yeah, ma. Okay. I always went over the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because she told you not to. Of right? course, we're kids. But there was a mechanic, I think, at the Ford dealership that parked a white 70 Trans Am on the, on the hill. With the blue? With the blue stripe. Yeah. And, he, and I know it was a 70 because he had the low back bucket seats and he had the hearse shifter, the T-knob. He uh, put that in. 
But when I saw that car, I was like, man, the Camaro ain't got nothing on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and it's always been, you know, I've always, this is my third one, like I said, it's so... But you, I'm sure you, that wasn't. You didn't get one for your first car, though. I bet. Uh, no, that was like the third car. What was your first car? Dad's mom's '69 sedan little Cadillac that had a head-on collision with a a Ford Galaxy LTD wagon. I hit. He cut me off on Northern Boulevard in Great Neck. I just put a AM/FM cassette blowout punk in it at some radio store for fifty bucks, and I had just left the radio store. And all the traffic was going westbound, bumper to bumper, but there was a gap between the side street. Right. And these guys came straight across, and about five feet in front of me, or maybe eight feet in front of me, I'm going only 40, I hit their right rear axle, the right rear tire, wow. pushed the whole axle out of the car, spun them around three times, and then one of the guys got out with a, a bottle, broke it, and he came after me. <laughs> with the bottle oh. I, ran, I ran into the car dealership oh and my gosh there. and called the cops and they got arrested and the car was done <laughs> <laughs> what, what a I story the 50 dollar radio out of it then my dad gave me his oh because you just got it that day right well, i had the car for a while but <laughs> no but the radio <laughs> you know my mom always got the am yeah I sure like, oh, i'm a musician too so i gotta have a cassette and gotta have some tunes you know and uh man i'm glad it was a 69 cadillac tank that i hit that oh yeah with. sure you're right because I hit that LTD wagon, whew, it was like a 64, spun that thing around. Oh, and wow. And so, Dad gave me his 72 Ford LTD wagon. After that, after because that you needed car, a car, yeah. Started. So you got two hand-me-downs, and then you went into the... Yeah, two hand-me-downs, and then like when I went to college, I saved up like a couple of grand, and then uh, Dad helped me with like three grand, no, uh, four, because the, six, the 77 Trans Am was six grand, ordered it, brand new. Ah, and that was in what, 77, you said? Yeah, yeah, wow. That's when I went to uh, college. College, right? wow, nice. Yeah. So you had two hand me downs and then you got a brand new car. That's nice. Yeah, it was awesome. I was so thankful and then uh, had that for a while. Good. Excellent. Yeah, what? Well, that's beautiful. Nice stories. Really nice thanks. stories. Thanks, man. Really good having you here. Yeah, <laughs> Definitely. Man. Nice showing your car. Yeah. Definitely. Let me thanks get some for, more. Uh, thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. Good. Check this out on. Florida Mixed Nuts Car Club on YouTube. Your interview will be up there. Okay. Probably in like another week. I, I've got a bunch. I'm, I'm only putting up Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays I post. so. But just so you can see it if you want. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Beautiful, though. Really gorgeous. And especially because of the feeling you put into it with, you know, telling your story. Yeah. Well, car has meaning. You know, it really does yeah, to you. The bucket list car, man. Yeah, like you said. Right. Yeah, that's... 64 now, so I'm like, <laughs> I spent 22 years building another car. Oh, uh, yeah, you're done, yeah. This is really, really, you know what I like? Big about? Term. The motor there to 455, high output. Beautiful condition. Yeah, numbers matching motor. Oh, excellent. He's got it here. He doesn't have to get anything else. He doesn't have to do anything else. It's got a five-speed. 